Hi guys, in this video we'll take a look at the build of the BF109E from Airfix in 148 scale. Inside the box you'll find two soft plastic sprues, one with the wings and fuselage assembly, and one with an impressive amount of optional parts, like different nose spinners, a 250, a 500 and 450 kg bombs, and an external fuel tank. A pilot is included too, but it should be noted that the figure is smaller than 148 scale. The box also contains multiple canopy options, and the decal sheet for at least two different versions. I decided to use the 250kg bomb for this 109 and then started the assembly of the cockpit. Next I made a few buckles from metal wire because the seat has molded seat belts but no buckles. The cockpit was sprayed in Vallejo black primer followed by a mix of dark grey. I dry brushed the surface detail and also added some dirt on the floor. Next I used a fine brush to paint the parts of the instrument panel. Some color was added to the stick and the hand wheel for the elevator trim and flap control. The interior was sprayed with the same grey mixture and again a small brush was used to pop out some details. Then the cockpit was glued in place, this was a nice and tight fit. Small clamps were used to glue the fuselage halves and wing panels together. The kit comes with separate flight controls, so you can position them as you like. I glued the flaps down and simulated the ailerons rolling to the right. So the left aileron down to make the left wing produce more lift and the right aileron up to reduce lift on the right wing. I lowered the elevator to simulate some weight and moved the rudder a bit to the left. And if you look closely you can see the control stick in the cockpit hanging to the right. Next I masked off the canopy parts with Tamiya masking tape and glued the canopy in position with Micro Crystal Clear, a product similar to wood glue that doesn't attack the clear plastic. The clear plastic was sprayed with a dark grey and then Vallejo black and grey primer were used to cover the rest of the model. Next I mixed two green tones and masked the splinter camouflage with more Tamiya masking tape. Some mottling was added to the fuselage with RLM02. More masking was added to spray the light blue underside and I used blue tack on the fuselage to get a soft wavy line. Next I prepared the parts of the model that will receive yellow paint. This includes the nose, rudder and wingtips. Yellow is one of those colors that covers very badly, so a thin layer of white is added as a base coat. And then the final yellow coat is added to the model. So the advice colors for this scheme are RLM04, a splinter pattern with RLM70 and 71, so modeling with RLM02 and finally a blue underside with RLM65. The paint was sealed in with a gloss coat and then the decals were added to the model. For this I used micro set and sole. Another gloss coat was added to protect the decals and then a dark grey panel line wash was added. Next all the missing parts were painted and attached to the model. Aluminum paint was added with a small brush for a chipping effect. Exhaust fumes were added with the airbrush and an antenna wire was made from a thin plastic sewing thread and fixed in place with super glue. And with that the 109 is finished. Many thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video.